Hi, and thanks for downloading the Weekend Box Office Report for December 9th through 11th. I'm your host, Daniel Kay, and I'm wearing a completely unnecessary stocking cap. It's actually, what, uh, 72 degrees in here. Um, but I do want to give a nod to winter, which is um, outside right now and very, very cold. Very, very cold which will explain the numbers I'm about to throw at you in a minute. We have two new movies uh, made it into the top ten this week. Both are expected to be bigger than they were. Uh, first one, New Year's Eve, which is the kind of... I wouldn't call it... A, it's more of a conceptual sequel to uh, Valentine's Day, a movie that came out last Valentine's Day, a romantic comedy. Did so-so business. Uh, new Year's Eve did less so-so, uh, making only... Thirteen million dollars. Uh, yeah, let's call it thirteen million for the weekend, and it was number one. So that'll give you an idea of just how much uh, streaming Netflix is uh, attractive to people on nights like the ones we've had this weekend. Uh, following that, The Sitter uh, from uh, Fox. Nine, eh, call it nine point nine million, which is sad these days. 9.9 .9 million would have been great several years ago, but of course it's not several years ago now, is it? No, now it's now. Several years ago was then. Um, and then everything else, meh. Although Twilight, uh, which is still in third place anyway, that's my, um, that's my pasta. Uh, Twilight uh, has made, it only brought in 7.9 million this week, but it's a uh, pulled down um, in the last month, $259 million. So if you like uh, attractive teen vampires, uh, you have cause for hope. If you're a human being who wants civilization to be better than it is, then that hope is gone. Uh, not interesting, not interesting. Um, ah, good title. We need to talk about Kevin from Oski Pictures. I don't know anything about it. But uh, it's new, and um, the lowest uh, the lowest scoring new movie, London River, um, came in at uh, doesn't even say what number it is, but uh, it's <laughs> one thousand and forty four dollars for the weekend. That's on one screen though, so that's not so bad. At least it made a thousand forty four in one theater. Um, the lowest scoring movie was The Future. Uh, which made only 76 bucks. So, you know, we've seen worse. We've seen movies uh, be on the chart that only had $12 for the whole weekend, so... You know, kind of think of it, if a movie only has $12, that's probably the producer just, like, going in at the last minute and saying, give me a ticket. I, I've got to get on the chart. So, the fact that the future made um, 76 bucks, which represents, you know, at least... Um, a few couples coming in to see it. That's okay. That is your weekend box office report. Thank you for um, watching. And remember, the big holiday, uh, the big three-day weekends are coming up soon, so these numbers are going to be shooting up. So if you are a producer, don't commit suicide in the dead of night. Wait until January.